Thank you for holding, everybody. We're now joined with Mark Hudson, the head coach of UL Lafayette. If you have a question for Coach Hud, please dial star one on your phone at this time. Uh, coach, while we're waiting for questions to get in the queue, would you mind starting us off with a opening statement? Uh, just ready to ready to move forward after last week's game. Didn't think we played our best, obviously. Didn't um, didn't play very well on either side of the ball, uh, especially the last second half. I thought the first half uh, that we uh, we did some nice things, but uh, once we lost momentum, never got it back, and didn't didn't do the things we needed to do, like taking care of the ball, and then uh, causing some turnovers. So we're ready to uh, move forward as we try to improve as a team. And uh, so a lot, a lot of season left to go, and by no means do we do we uh, press the panic button. We still feel like we got a really good team, and looking forward to continuing uh, this week's preparation against against a very good Ole Miss football team. Thank you, Coach. As a reminder, our members of the media is a star one to ask questions. Uh, you alluded to it earlier. Would you mind giving us a scouting report on Ole Miss? Well, I think uh, you know their their personnel speaks for itself. Their defensive personnel is probably uh, some of the best in the uh, in the Southeastern Conference. Uh, I think all those guys up front are guys that can really hurt you in a hurry, and, and you're, you're sitting next to trying to throw the ball. So we're going to do a great job in pass protection. Uh, I think they've got a secondary that's very active, and they've got, uh, to me, uh, a very very physical, active group of linebackers that uh, really run to the football. So I think uh, those guys that they're about as solid of a unit as I have seen. And then uh, offensively, led by a senior quarterback who does a nice job with their offense. And they have a lot of weapons. They play with great tempo and uh, play really fast. And so it'll be a great challenge, especially playing there in Oxford. Coach, you mentioned earlier, you know, not hitting the panic button. But, you know, this week in practice, is it mainly just trying to focus on, on maybe some mental errors or just, uh, you know, scheme-wise? Or what are kind of your thoughts on that? You know, we're just trying. We're trying to get better at what we're doing, and uh, we believe in what we're doing. We've got to do a better job of doing it. Uh, we've got to do a better job of taking care of the football. We've never had that problem before, and, and until this uh, Saturday night uh, when it really showed up. So we've got to take care of the ball. If we hope to have any opportunity there in Oxford because those guys can expose you really quickly. Uh, first uh, caller is uh, from New Orleans. Uh, caller, please identify yourself and uh, go ahead. Yeah, this is uh, Trey Owls with uh, New Orleans Times, Sticky and Miller dot com. Coach, I was wondering, do you have an update on Jamal Robinson, how he's doing? Yeah, he's doing fine. We we do think he will be available for Saturday. Thank you. Thank you, Trey, and uh, thank you, Coach. That's all the time we have for you today. We do appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thank you. If everyone would stand by, we'll have uh, Todd Berry of uh, UL Monroe on shortly. Please stand by. <laughs> 